How you doing everyone? Joe from Hognell. I hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, we're going to discuss the shedding process when it comes to your baby hog nose, your sub-adult hog nose, or maybe your adult hog nose. Now, if you're not familiar with my playlist, this will be part of my playlist, your first baby hog nose, and also hog nose care. You can go to my main channel, click on playlist where those playlists are. If you have any questions about your hog nose, and if I don't answer them in those videos, you can leave me a comment on those videos, and I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Later in this video, I'm going to give you some tips or tricks that will help you if you have a stuck shed or stuck eye caps on your hog nose snake. So that being said, let's get on with this video, the shedding process here on Hog and Outs. <laughs> So what I want to do here in the beginning is talk about the shed-in process from beginning to end. Now let's talk about the early indicators. There are some early indicators when it comes to your baby hog nose or your hog nose in general when they're starting to shed. Now let's talk about the first two early indicators that I always look for. The first two I look for is a light blue tint when it comes to my hog nose's eyes. The other indicator I always look for is, well, I pick up my hog nose, I turn them over, and I look at their belly. So if you have a conda or a super conda, it's black underneath. You will notice that it's starting to dull a little bit. It's like a milky white. That's another good indicator to let you know that your hog nose is in the beginning stages of shed. Now, when it comes to the advanced stages, usually after the early indicators, two, three, four days after that, you will notice that the pattern, not the pattern, but the color of your hog nose is starting to dull. It's not as bright. It's not as popping as it usually is. And the other advanced indicator I always look for is, well, they go into zombie mode. Their eyes become very white, very cloudy. And you know what? It's pretty scary looking when you look at them. So after they go into zombie mode, usually three or four days after that, you'll notice that the eyes are starting to clear up. You'll notice that the colors are starting to brighten up a little bit. That means they're usually about, like I said, about three or four days from actually shedding. Now, the whole shedding process takes about a week and a half to two weeks. And what I like to do during the whole entire shedding process is spray the terrarium down two or three times a day with a fine mist bottle like this that people use for plants. Now you can pick these up on Amazon for like two or three dollars, very inexpensive. But it's very handy to boost those humidity levels inside the terrarium. Now when it comes to the humidity levels, you want to be between 40 to 60 percent. And one little tip or trick I like to do is move the water dish below the heating lamp or right above your heating pad. And what that does is boost the humidity levels about five or six, maybe even seven percent. And on top of that, when you spray or mist the terrarium or your cage two or three times a day, well, it will boost the humidity levels to the desired percentage that you need for a nice one-piece shed for your hog nose. Also, what I like to do when it comes to the last two or three days of the shedding process, I like to really spray my hog nose down a lot, usually like three or four times a day. And you know what? It seems to do the job for me. I also add a temperature and also a humidity meter to the terrarium as well. And I get these off of Amazon. I think a pack of six is around eight or ten dollars. It's not too bad. And the deviation is about one to three percent. If you follow these tips and tricks, usually your hog nose will not have any issues shedding. Now, people have asked me in my other videos when it comes to shedding, which I will link down below. Hey, Joe, will my hog nose feed during shedding? Well, yes, mine do. Usually the last two, three days of shedding of the shedding process, I do feed my hog noses and most of them do feed. And to be honest with you, I find that helps them shed a little bit easier. I don't know why, but usually if they do feed, I usually have no problem with my hog noses shedding. So let's move on to the problems. So there are problems that you may have or may experience when it comes to your hog nose shedding. Now I have a video here of Syl. She had a problem shedding last week. It was flaking off. It wasn't looking good. I waited three or four days and I had to soak her. Now we're going to get into those videos here soon of me soaking Syl. So let's talk about stuck eye caps. This is a problem. It's fairly common, but not too common. This has happened to me three times this year. So when your hog nose does shed, make sure you check the shed, especially the head portion, and make sure you see the eye caps on the head piece of the shed. So if you do have a stuck eye cap shed, what you want to do is break out Mr. Rubber Thimble, and you want to square your hog nose's face down with the squirt bottle, and when you spray them down, put them inside the tray for about five minutes. After five minutes, you want to pick them up, hold them right behind their neck, and get the rubber thimble, and massage their eye cap from back to front. And you know what? After you do it two or three times, you'll see the eye cap shed pop right off. So let's talk about Syl and her difficulty shedding last week. Now, everything looked good. The humidity levels were, were nice and high, around 50, 55%. I squirted her down like three or four times a day, you know, when it came to the, like the, the last two or three days of her shedding process. 
And the day that she shed it, I came home and I looked inside a terrarium and there was like 30, 40 pieces of shed all over the place. And when I lifted up her hide, I looked at Syl and she still had stuck shed on her dorsal. There was some on her saddles. And her headpiece did not shed off either, like her eye caps did. That didn't come off either. So I squirted her down over the next two days, seeing if she would get it off naturally. You know, she has her log in there, the substrate. She has a couple hides in there. So I figured, you know what? She might be able to do this naturally. But guess what, guys? After two or three days, the stuck shed was still there. So if you do have a shed that's all flaky and they still have stuck shed, here's a little tip or trick that you can do to help them get the rest of it off. What I like to do is get a 12, 16, or 18 quart tub. And I like to fill it up about an inch and a half, two inches of lukewarm water. I like to infrared it, make sure it's between 78 to 85 degrees, guys. You don't want it too cool or too warm because you might put your hog nose into shock and they might die. You don't want to do that, guys, all right? So make sure we're clear on that. This is what I did with sill. I grabbed sill, got the lukewarm water, the tub, and what you want to do is make the water deep enough where the full body of your hog nose will be submerged underneath the water. So let's check out these videos of sill inside her tub. I added her to the tub, lukewarm water, I think it was like 82 degrees. So after 10 or 15 minutes, look inside the tub and you will see the stuck shed starting to peel off of them. Now after 10 or 15 minutes, I take the top off and I pick up sill and you can do this too as well and just peel off the stuck shed. You can use a rubber thimble too as well. And you want to try to do this as quick as possible because it'll help ease the stress of your hog nose. As you can see in this video, Syl is a little stressed out. But at the end, you help your hog nose, you get the rest of the shed off, and you know what? You have a happy hog nose. So there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I miss something when it comes to the shedding process, feel free to hit me down below in the comment section. That being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. You have a great week. This is Joe from Hogging Outs. I'm out. Cheers.